Hello and welcome back to The Selling Dan, my weekly update from what has sold over the weekend. Not the best weekend, not the best at all, but I had a really good week last week. So uh, I get paid every Tuesday from eBay and from Wednesday until Friday afternoon, I think I sold 40 items, which doesn't sound like many, but it, they were all like good value items, you know. Two golf bags, even though they were out of season, at like 75 quid between them. There were just loads of, so some drills went out that I bought the other week from the house clearance stall. So, some really good sales, but got them all packed, got them all shipped and out the door. So, just this weekend, I have sold 16 items. 16 items. So, one, two, three, four of these are ones from uh, my house or stuff that I found in my mum and dad's loft that they've given me, which I won't include at the end, but I'll include the total value. Um, but in total, quite a good week. So, some okay values, some okay values. So, we'll get straight into it, straight into it with an item that was from my drawer back when I, I used to go to the gym. Uh, is a night dry fit top. Here it is. So, it's just a two colour Nike dry fit running top. Um, and that sold for eight pound plus shipping. Wait, I'm not going to start this again. Eight pound. You all know it's plus shipping. Right. So the next one is some Pete Pete Bait miniature plaques. Four of these. I got this from the house clearance. These worked out at twenty p for all of them. So they're little miniature plaques that look a bit like that. Not a bit like that. They do look like that because I'm holding them. Uh, so they cost me 20p and they sold for £17. Uh, one that I do every month. So we've still got the Hotel Chocolat subscription. I buy it for 15 sell it for 15 Um No, sorry, I buy it for 12 actually. But once I took posting a bit, I'm breaking even on these anyway. Um, but I'm just getting them back out the door because we haven't got the Velvetizer anymore. Uh, so, a beanie. Quite new, so I'll put that on top. Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. Leeds beanie. We're not commenting on football this weekend, uh, so we'll move on. That That's all for a fiver. Going all the way back to Leeds. Uh, so, on to some waders. Oh, God, they're in here. One second. The death pile in here is, is quite frankly ridiculous. I can't move for stuff I need to start listing, so just give me a minute. Here we go. Right, so. Mac Real Waders. Ow. You see them? Big, 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 like chest high waders, size 14. 14. I thought I would be at a 12, but 14. Chuck them down there cost me a fiver when i first did the research i thought this was a bad buy because uh i was looking online and they were selling for like a tenner anyway i put it up for 25 got 25 so yeah quite happy with that one i suppose size 14 is quite a unique size so yeah 25 quid for those from a fiver not too bad at all um a sony home theater system i'm not going to get that out actually i'm going to put amy to put a little link here so this is a sony uh, DVD system with a massive subwoofer uh, and I think about seven speakers uh, so quite a big one to be sending off I got this at um, Hemswell the first time I went well first and only time I've been uh, I paid a tenner and I got 30 quid for it so not too bad at all one of my favorite ones this weekend is this Adidas duffel bag uh, it's called the Adidas Eclair. Uh, I found it in a skip. Right at the top of the skip, along with that other bag that I sold last week, you know, the mounting bag with a metal frame. So that cost me nothing. That's all for £25. Well happy with that one. Well happy. So, like, for just from that skip, I know it doesn't sound much, but I'm 40 quid up for doing nothing. I'd, you know, I'd spent five minutes looking at a skip. Really enjoyed that one. So, on to a DVD. I don't do DVDs, but. I wanted so this is this is my charity shop in where, where I'm from. So you buy one DVD, it's a pound. You buy ten DVDs, you guessed it, it's a pound. So like, why would I not buy? I really wanted one DVD, which is already sold. 
Uh, why would I not want the other like nine for free, basically? So, uh, in total, this cost me 10p. Finding Nemo, uh, two disc collectors edition. 10p, £2.50. I'm not breaking the bank, but hey ho, you know, I've spent a pound on all of them, so. <coughs> Biker's jacket, another not not a good buy, this, this one. So it was this uh, biker's vest. It come with a load of, I don't know if you can see them, Harley Davidson badges and you know, badges on the back and stuff like that. I thought, my God, that's quite a good buy. You know, they wanted £20. I thought, well, I'll probably get that in just the badges. None of them were worth anything. The jacket is just like a generic jacket uh, vest. So I paid 20 got 25 At least I made some money and I got my money back. So we move on. We move on. On to one of Amy's ones. Is a uh, what is it called? Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette thing. I don't know. No, no, she asked me to sell it. So oh, we got ten pound fifty for that anyway. Used, you know, crazy on used makeup and perfume at the minute. But anyway, um, on to a long one. Pick this up on. I think it was my best picking day yet. Which was at Torxy. No, sorry, the second biggest one. It said Ar Armco uh, Scanner Antenna. I paid a pound and, and that's gone for £20. And just for everyone asking me, I get quite a lot of questions about this. That will go through every. Uh, and I'd say it's going to cost me, with the weight, probably cost me about £5. With that length, if I was to send it through Royal Mail, it'll cost me £12. So that's why I do use every and I try and. Uh, get stuff shipped through them. I have never once had a problem with Ever yet. They haven't, you know, they've been absolutely fine. Apart from like overcharging me on some things when they say, oh, the package is too big or you put it in wrong. But that's probably my own fault rather than them. Um, so, yeah. On to another one. Nice find up at Bridlington. Are these Paul Smith Brogues? In quite nice condition, bit of wear on the bottom, but you know they're quite nice. These are off to, uh, so they've been, they're not using global shipping program. They're using their own internal to then ship them to China. Um, so they cost me eight pound, which was the crazy thing about all this is next shoes in this charity shop were twelve to fifteen pound, but Paul Smith Brogues were eight pound. Anyway, so they sold for fifty one pound and sixty five pence. So nice little profit in them. Oh, we're moving. We're on the move. So, next one is a Panasonic phone. You know I like to pick up phones. Look at that. Remembering where everything is today as well. So, it's a little Panasonic phone um, and it's a little handset. So, I pick them up for 50p every time. Uh, that's all for £9.65. So, not, not lighting the world up, but they're easy sellers. Just they, They're really small. They're easy, compact to ship. I'll just I'll keep picking them up all day long. Uh, on to a weird one. I've had this a while. Bought this at a charity shop. It's a Atlantic 40 CD wooden case. Um, I didn't know anyone did CDs anymore. Anyway, quite nice. Quite nice. I bought it for 50p at the charity shop, uh, and that's eventually sold. I've probably had this about three months. So this is sold for five pound eighty. Again, not lighting the world up, but a nice little profit. Another, so the last two I'm going to have to ask Amy to put there, they're just way too big for me to try and get on this camera. One of them is a loft find up at my mum and dad's house, my old TV. It's a Bush CRT TV with a VHS insert, fully working with remote control. Um, so I sold this, so Amy put it about here. I sold this for £75 plus the shipping. But what I'm going to do with this one, so this is only going to Doncaster. So I've agreed with the lady that, on my passings, I've got to go there on Wednesday, so I'll I'll use the shipping money to basically as a fuel cost for me to go and drop it off. Much safer, you know, putting a CRT TV, you know, one of the old school ones, in the post just terrifies me uh, because that's guaranteed to not get there right, even if I package it up perfectly. There's so many moving, like there's so much space in the back of one of those TVs that anything could go wrong. So I'm just not risking it all. Um... And it, you know, I'd just rather deliver it for a bit, a bit, a bit of my time. It's twenty minutes away. I'm just not going to risk it. Um, and then the last one is a very strange one. I picked this up at picked this up at Old Coats. 
uh, I paid two pound, and it's a tall IKEA clab light. Uh, in fact, I'll just, one minute. I'll show you. So, can you see the lampshade there? Quite a tall. It's around about a hundred and fifty centimeters long. So that one uh, I picked up, and uh, so it cost me two pound. But I thought, well, IKEA, you know, it'll do all right. Fully works. The lampshade needs replacing. Uh, but I think they've stopped doing them style ones. It's like a triangle style bottom. Um, and so £2, that's sold for 25 for collection in person. And the person has paid is coming from Hampshire. I mean, that must be two, two and a half hours away from me for a 25 quid lamp. But anyway, people do what they want to do as long as they're paying. And he's paid, so I can't complain. So that's £2.25. Not too bad at all, you know, not the greatest. Well, no, it is quite good. It is quite good. I'm going to stop there. Stop there. So, that's everything that's sold. That's 16 items. So, not my best weekend by far. Not the worst weekend. But, in terms of spend, we have £62.10. It's cost me for all those items. Minus the stuff that, obviously, we know now. I don't put it on. Value on that one is 25160 so not the greatest so eBay from that are going to take away 30 pound and 19 pence so in terms of profit from this weekend so that's Friday night to what is now Monday morning you know it's 10 o'clock Monday morning uh, we've got 159 pound and 31 pence but if you put everything in the total value would be more like 350 pound and 10 pence you know and profit wouldn't be more like 280 so in the grand scale of things, it's not the worst weekend I've ever had. Uh, it's not the best. Um, you know, sometimes you just have slow weekends, but I've had such a good week all week. Like, I'm, it, it, it's absolutely fine. I'm not worried at all. Um, my main concern at this moment in time, sorry, I keep moving that. It's just so I can see myself. What I like to do is the, these GoPros have got a camera, like a screen at the front. And if I know I'm on screen, then Amy can't tell me off for not, not being in the right place. You know, I've left little black bits. Uh, in before where I've put it down and oh she goes mad she was mad uh, she went happy the other day from the from the Twin Oaks video because I left my finger in it you know I, I just rookie mistakes but you know when you're just there and you're in the moment you just do it uh, and oh she plays hell she plays hell I think she's chief editor now yeah. anyway so yeah uh, biggest concern so not that weekend so that I'm everything's going fine I'm smashing targets doing well on eBay you know we're doing really well on eBay at the minute really really well uh, my biggest concern is the car boots so we went to Twin Oaks on Saturday wasn't raining but absolutely muddy to hell and people were having so much trouble um, and it just didn't seem as as bustly or as as like there was a lot of traders there hell of a lot of traders there were a few house clearances but nothing major popped out you know, slim pickings, really. And then I went out Sunday, and it was due to rain at half past eight, and it literally did rain, bang on half past eight. I was there from five, so, you know, I was back tucked up in bed by ten past seven. <coughs> but he's, he's getting a bit of a concern. Getting a bit of concern because my local car boats will start slowly shutting. Old coats, whenever there's a good forecast, will stay on. Even if it's raining, it'll stay on. But obviously, you don't get people going. So the local forecast, whenever that's okay, not raining in the morning, Old Coats will be on. Uh, Twin Oaks just needs a couple of weekends and then that'll shut down. You know, uh, I think next weekend's a terrible weekend. Uh, so that'll most likely, you know, one or two of them and then that'll be done. Uh, I'm very, very lucky around here. Very, very lucky that Old Coats will stay open. Even, you know, all the way through December, that will be open if the weather's fine. If it's raining, it'll close. Um... So I'm looking at different avenues, I'm looking at different avenues. Hopefully I've got something coming up this week that you all like. I'm not allowed to film it. I've asked. I'm just not allowed to film it. Um, so I'll just have to do a bit of a haul if I actually get anything after I get it, which isn't a problem, which is absolutely fine. Uh, but then I can, a bit like uh, the palette video, you know, I'll just get the items out and then show you exactly what I've bought rather than, me actually in the place buying it which is a shame i really wanted them to let me do it but hey ho no policies and all that um so i hope you enjoy this video i have a death pile that's that's ridiculous um which is taking over the unit so i will try and get through that you know annoyingly i haven't even got the blinds to go stuff on yet 
I just haven't got, I haven't got round to it. I just, I, like, I'm trying to just firefight for everything, and they're like the last things on my mind. I just need to get them done and get them stored and get them out of the way. But uh, we keep moving. I'm running out of boxes, so I need to just keep like trying to source boxes at the minute. But we're happy. We're happy. So I'm gonna get packaging. Gonna get sorted. Gonna get to the every drop off and try and get them sorted before one o'clock, so they don't have a go at me again. Uh, but yeah, hope you like this video. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. We'll try and keep these up every week. Um, and over and out from the selling Dan. Mm -hmm.